Hi guys, this is POLs in Plain English, part two. Here are some details. So you've done some wonderful work so far. You've made an introduction, you've written about all sorts of projects they've been doing in all sorts of classes. And you've put all of that information up on your digital portfolio and we're ready to go. So here's the next few steps that we're gonna do. First of all, we're gonna be making a presentation. So you have a choice about how you can make this presentation. You can either do it in Google Presentation or you can also use Prezi or a variety of other things. We ask that you maybe hold off on doing any PowerPoints in particular because we can't exactly promise that you're going to have a computer that has Microsoft PowerPoint on there. If you would like to do PowerPoint, you can of course do it at home on your own personal computer and upload it to Google Presentation and hopefully all the formatting will move over. Okay, so imagine this. You have an introduction slide. And imagine this, in your presentation, you also have three slides for each of these content areas. So for instance, you have an Essler, an artifact, and a connection. So I'll explain some of these in a second. And you've done each one of these for each one of the things. So here are the rest of all of these different slides. Okay, might seem like a lot of slides, but things are very, very repeated. And of course, at the very end, we add a conclusion. Now. Some of the, a lot of these slides can be very easy to do. For instance, these Essler slides are merely just the name of the Essler, and the artifact is just merely the picture or the video or anything, any whatever artifact that you happen to be doing. You're just going to place that on the artifact slide. Then the connection slide is your justification. That is your connection between the thing that you've brought and the Essler, the thing like being prepared for college or act responsibly or something of that sort. So these are all the slides. So here's some of my suggestions. So tips for making presentations. First of all, use as few words as possible. Speak them. Don't write them all down. If you have a whole paragraph of stuff to say, don't put the paragraph in the presentation. Say the paragraph source of stuff, but just have key words in order to put in your presentation. Remember to make sure you Im embed your videos and also your images, okay? Cover everything. Make sure you cover every single item as best you can. And also, there's a template on Advisory Land. If you'd like to go and download this template and type in all of your own stuff, that would be great. It would be kind of boring. It's kind of a boring template, but it'll at least get you a passing presentation. Okay, so we're pretty squared away on that. And then when you're all done with your presentation, make sure that you embed it in your digital portfolio. And this is how you will be presenting to your POL group. So let's talk about a couple other details. And this is, yep, you guessed it, professional dress. Let's talk about professional dress for a moment. Okay, professional dress um, for young men and young ladies are gonna be a little bit different. First of all, for the gentlemen, um, try to get a collared shirt, a tie, dress pants, and nice shoes. Okay, for young women, um, you know, nice shirt, nice top, slacks, um, or a nice skirt. A uh, reminder that dress code, of course, is always enforced. And eh, this seems really general, but try to look as nice as you possibly can. Um, imagine that, um, would your grandmother like you to see you um, dressed up like that? You know, if you're wearing a tie or you're wearing something nice, um, or would you like to see your grandmother dressed up as what you're wearing? If the answer is no to either one of those questions, please you know, rethink about what you're gonna dr you know, dress out like for your POL. So let's take a look at a couple examples. And here it is. Look at that. Look how stylish they look. And look at those nice pants suits. Cool. Let's move on. So your presentation is going to be about 20 to 25 minutes. And I recommend that you practice. So let's talk about practicing of your verbal presentation. I would say practice four to five times. Okay. Practice your difficult words. If you, there's a word in your presentation, maybe it's a scientific term that you're not too familiar with. Make sure you practice that and know exactly how to say it. Okay. Be an expert on your assignments and your work. You are the experts. So basically what we don't want to hear is, I don't know about this. We want to hear actually what you do know. Okay, go for flow. You want to have a really great flow in your presentation and make sure that one slide transitions to another. Okay, video yourself practicing. This could be a really big help. That means you can watch it back and see um, how you're doing and the things that you um, maybe have a couple nervous ticks. Maybe you're like scratching your ear all the time. Who knows what it could be? And you'll see it in that video. And practice while standing and moving between each slide on your computer. It will really help out. If you just sit there, just sit and practice, it won't quite have the same feel as standing up and practicing. And I have some more suggestions for practicing. Practice in front of your grandmother. Practice with a bunch of your um, stuffed animals. Practice in front of the cats. Practice as many times as you can. 
So, a couple of things about failing factors. Now I'm going to go over these, each of these individually. So let's check this out. So let's say you're missing items from the list. Well, if you're missing things from the list, uh, it's not exactly a complete presentation. Okay. Let's say you forgot to dress formal. Oops, you just wore a t-shirt and some jeans. Well, that's not really going to work out. So um, we would reschedule you for another time. Okay, let's try for tardiness. You know, it's really hard if you are not there. Well, if you're not there, your presentation isn't there. And, well, definitely your dress isn't there. So um, if you aren't there, that's really hard to uh, evaluate your presentation. So make sure that you were there and on time. Okay, let's try this. Your presentation doesn't make sense. Well, you've, you kind of have an order to things, but we take a look at it. You know, some of these things don't exactly make any sense. So make sure that all of your items um, are all in a row and are really understandable. Okay, no presentation. Hmm, please check this over and over and over. Make sure that your presentation is up on your digital portfolio and it works and that you can click on it and everything is great. Because when you have no presentation, all that's gone. And if you have no presentation, you don't even have that thing that says my catapult. So pretty much it's just you and a computer and maybe you dressed out. I mean, that's not exactly a passing presentation right there. So make sure that you guys double check to make sure that you have all your things ready to go for the day. And even go early and make sure it all works. Okay, so let's say maybe you didn't pass your presentation. Um, your POL, um, makeup will be scheduled right at that moment and you just have to make up the portions that you missed and in order to get any of the points from the pol if you didn't pass you actually have to go and do the makeup otherwise you don't get any of the points very important um, detail right there so make sure that when you get a makeup pol you go and you make up the things that you have to do and show up at the time that is um, asked of you so let's talk about grading really quick so I just want to point out really quick that you've done some wonderful things in your digital portfolio there. Those things are graded in your advisory class. All that writing is, and I believe it is 35% of your grade, so it's a pretty significant amount of your grade in advisory. So please make sure that you have all that stuff done really well up in your digital portfolio. We also have that grade presentation. That's done by your English class. Okay, So just remember that the writing is done in advisory, and the presentation is graded in English. Pretty straightforward. Okay, one last thing. So we have all this stuff. We have you all dressed up. We have the people there. Um, actually, there's more people than I mentioned before. There will also be maybe some parents there. And there will also be uh, you know, some students there as well, some other students. And these other students are going to give you feedback. And you, at one point or another, are going to give them feedback. So perhaps a probing question at the very end of your thing, you know, how did this work? How did that work? Um, or it could also be feedback. Okay. Remember to also maybe some of the teachers or the parents might give you some probing questions and feedback. So let's see um, what we should do for um, commenting. First of all, please be constructive. Ask them what they would do. Be really positive. Okay. Um, things just like, oh, that was good. Oh, that doesn't really count for a good comment. You really want to have a really good question or something really great to say about what they uh, showed you. Okay. And then when do I do my POL? So are we missing the I? Um, it is going to be posted outside the office pretty soon and a digital version will be posted on the advisory land website. And if you're wondering when all this stuff is going down, here is the schedule right now. Um, we are working on our reflections for that first week. On Friday, we'll be making our Google presentations or Prezi's. On Mondays, we'll be making sure we're preparing for those presentations and practicing and stuff like that. Then the rest of that week, we are in POLs. Bye, guys. Happy advising.